Um, Peter Golding, who's now going to play two songs with his group of friends, is, is an old family friend of um, both Larry and Peter Adler, son and father. And uh, I know that uh, Peter Golding is very special to the Adler family, hence his involvement today. Peter Golding. Good evening. Thank you. Hello. We got a bit of uh, great. Thank you. Uh, yes, I would just like to say how great it is. We actually, I love Django Reinhardt particularly, and of course, couple that with Larry Adler. And you have a very special moment in uh, Larry's career. I think Larry was one of the few musicians I know that could tackle classics, but also have that swing to his playing when he was playing uh, swing songs, maybe because of his background in America, and I'm quite keen on the harmonica, and he goes right back to Boromir Ninovich. Uh, he tried to join the Harmonica Rascals, and there's a famous moment, which I'm sure Jerry will confirm, or a complete fable, where Boromir Ninovich said, after he, Jared, Larry had played a few notes, kid, you stink. <laughs> which is probably the start of Larry's career. But anyway, uh, I'm well uh, equipped tonight, uh, so I'd just like to introduce also someone who's really made a huge uh, success of playing Django style through the years and has played with Larry quite a few times. The Duke of Django, Diz Disley. On the uh, Cartier guitar, <laughs> the Marquis of Metronome, Malcolm Harrison. <laughs> On the bass, Sir Slapper, John Day. <laughs> and my old friend Eddie, I've known him so long, I even used to know him when he had full head of hair. All right, Viscount of the Violin, Eddie Gray. Uh, we have a little, uh, if you're up there, sound man, I can't hear you. Remember I gave you a CD with one minute. Uh, if you could play that, this actually introduces this song quite well. It's from a concert that uh, Larry gave with um, Diz Disley. Are we up there? Let's see if it comes on. There you go. Larry Adler, ladies and gentlemen. Larry Adler. Now with Larry Adler, we're going to do another tune from the famous session of 1937, Melancholy Baby. It says you never get it right, it was 1938. Incidentally, on that session, Stefan Grappelli refused to play the violin. He thought that the violin and the mouth organ would clash. I couldn't talk him out of it. He was wrong, because I did a duet once with Itzhak Perlman, who was one of the greatest joys I've ever had. He insisted on playing the piano. Stefan is a very good violinist. Gray, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 
song uh, is uh, I Can't Give You Anything But Love. We're actually going to do it on three different ways because, you know, the harmonica really uh, was, goes right back, well, to the mid-18th centuries and before, but actually it really started in 1896, if you like, with the harmonica... Uh, uh, there we go, the Marine Band. And this was probably the turn of the century what most people would play, playing them in the same key. Then later on, we had the blues harp people that were cross harps, as it were, playing in a different key to get a bluesy feel. And then later, probably in the 30s and 40s, the chromatic came along, which made sort of the wonderful music that Larry's given us. But he used to call the basically the harmonic, the harmonica, a, uh, a mouth organ. So we have to call this, according to him, a tin sandwich. <laughs> right? uh, and I'd just like to dedicate this as well, just to my mother, Lily Golding, who bought me my, she's passed on, but she bought me my first harmonica many, many years ago, and I used to listen to Larry in the kitchen as he played Vaughan Williams, or something like that, anyway. Uh, and, um, anything you've got to say, Des, or? We don't know. Yes. Let's hear from Des Desley, who's a wonderful guy. Thank you. Well, I had the great pleasure of playing three concerts with Larry Adler, two of them at the Queen Elizabeth Hall, and apart from being a great uh, musical thrill, uh, because he was really an outstandingly great player, uh, it was also a good experience because he had a terrific sense of humour. He was very funny. And uh, I have the good fortune to have managed to get a recording of him at, on this concert at the Queen Elizabeth Hall. Uh, and he did a version of Body and Soul, which was an absolute masterpiece. And I've got a tape of it. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, we can't give you anything but love. You always pine for night and look you look you look so swell Oh baby Graceless that Woolworth doesn't settle Oh until that lucky day You know darn well Mr. Larry Adler We can give you anything but love Take it away boys
Enthusiastic, they want to carry on for another chorus. <laughs> Unheard of. Thank you so much. Good night. <laughs>